to dream the impossible dream. The sun shines on the reflections of my memories, and as it does, I can see the image of who I was and who I am. Most importantly, I can see the image of who I want to be. Can you see me? Can you see who I am through who I was? Look further, deeper into the subconsciousness of your own mind. There, I am certain you will find that all that I am is all that you want to be. All that I am is all you can be. If you give yourself the chance, if you could only believe in yourself long enough, you would realize that I am you. You are the very core of who I am, of what I was, of what I can be. Believe in yourself. Believe in me. Together we can overcome any obstacle, climb any mountain, cross any endless seas. We can. You know we can because you still believe. You still believe. To believe in yourself is the greatest love anyone could ever offer you. To believe in yourself is greater than any miracle that God could ever happen to you. To believe in yourself is greater than anything you could ever experience ever in your life. Believe in yourself and others will believe in you. Believe in others and you will begin to believe in yourself. Life is anything you want it to be. You are the ruler of your own destiny. You, you, no other person can or should ever try to be the ruler of your destiny. If you believe in yourself long enough, others will begin to believe in you. With this, you will acquire newfound strength that will enable you to conquer any possible obstacle that could ever find its way to your front doorstep. Remember to believe in yourself and in others. Remember that only you can rule your destiny. Remember all this and you will be without any trace of doubt, a believer, untouchable. And then those were my initials. Well, they are my initials. Judith Audrey Windover. Yeah, I wrote this. April 13, 88. Three days after I turned 22. <sighs> That's a pretty powerful message. Now, I have to go inward and ask myself, is this message true for me today? Do I truly, truly believe in myself the way that the future me told the younger me who I'm now just reading and as the older me who might have been the original older me that gave the younger me this message? I don't know, this thing's very confusing. It's also very confusing. How can I be in the future and the past and the present all at the same time? But apparently I can be. And if I can be, what does that say about you? What do you know about you? What have you always known about you? That for some reason you just didn't want to believe. You should reread this poem again or at least play it over again. Listen to it. Mm -hmm. It might help. I think it just helped me.